Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Ribanjo. I want to welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to be solving uh, this uh, question related to solid shape. And uh, this as a result of a student who, request for, who requested for this, uh, this video based on the uh, past questions and uh, in the previous video we have saw a question related to this and uh, that was uh, when a cone was mounted upon a uh, cylinder but in this video we are having that uh, the solid above is a cylinder mounted so uh, sorry so mounted by a hemispherical bowl so you have to calculate the volume and the total surface area of this solid shape that is we are having a an hemisphere mounted upon a cylinder so, but before we get it started or before we solve this let's try to see the the, the composition of the two shapes that is what made up this uh, this solid so the composition of the solid is uh, we are having a, an hemisphere an hemisphere is an is a is a is a is a is a uh, half of of a sphere sorry for that an hemisphere is a is an is half of a sphere that is when you divide a sphere into two you have an hemisphere it's just like a bowl so and then we are having a cylinder also so when you put this hemisphere on top of a cylinder that is this the circular base of the of the hemisphere we cover up the top of the cylinder also so it will not be seen but this you are what you are seeing here is just to show you that uh, an hemisphere has a circular base and the, the top the cylinder also has a top, uh, circular top as well so when this is placed out uh, when this hemisphere is placed on this uh, on this cylinder the bottom the circular base of the hemisphere will not be seen and also the top of the cylinder also will not be seen to be covered up i want you to understand that so this is an hemisphere and this is a cylinder and that's when this one is placed upon on top of the that's what made up the 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 diagram given to us here as you can see so let's see how we can find the volume of the of the solid shape given to us and uh, let's go to so this is the diagram of the of the shape given to us that we have to find the volume and the total surface area so let's first of all find the volume now what can we see in this diagram we are given the radius of the of the of the hemisphere the radius of the hemisphere is from here to here which is 7 cm and we are also given the height of the cylinder which is 10 cm so from there what how can we find the volume of this uh, solid shape is very simple as well all you need to do is to find the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cylinder that will give us the volume of the the solid you are having here that is i said to find the volume of this solid shape we need the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cylinder that should give us the volume of the of the solid and uh, what is the volume of a cylinder of, of an hemisphere so the volume of an hemisphere is two two third of pi r cube that is two over three pi r cube that is the volume of the of an hemisphere which is the half of the volume of the of the f of a of a of a sphere so the volume of a sphere is four over three pi r cube so if you divide it by two that should give us a two over three pi r cube which is the volume of the hemisphere so plus the volume of a cylinder is a pi r square h so the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h don't uh, i'm going to have a full a full series on a methodation of plane shape and solid shape coming so but i'm just doing this uh, based on requests by a student so this is the volume of an hemisphere and this is the volume of a of a cylinder so when you add them together we get the volume of this uh, solid something is common we can factorize here so pi r square is common so you can factorize pi r square in out so that should give us uh, pi r square into 2 over 3 r plus h now don't forget that this h belongs to the height of the cylinder so if you substitute the values we have 22 over 7 times 7 square which is the 7 is the radius of the uh, hemisphere which is also the radius of the the circular base of the cylinder as well and then 
uh, into 2 over 3 plus 7 where 7 is the radius plus 10 which is the height of the cylinder so 7 we take care of 7 here we have 22 times 7 that should give us 154 then you can now simplify the bracket we have uh, 2 times 7 will give us uh, 14 over 3 plus 10 and then uh, that should give us 154 into if you simplify this by finding the LCM you have uh, uh, 44 over 3 and if you simplify further that should give us a uh, 2258.67 centimeter cube as the volume of this uh, solid shape now the real emphasis or where the student tend to make mistake is the total surface area of a composite shape when it's a shape is placed in another on a, on another one mostly when it comes to solid shape student tend to find it difficult to work on total surface area so let's see the total surface area of this uh, this shape like I told you in the uh, at the beginning that uh, don't forget that uh, this circular this circle you are seeing here is not part of this uh, it's not part it's not part of the the uh, surface area because the bottom of the hemisphere and the top of, top of the cylinder will not be seen when this will not be will not show again when this uh, hemisphere sits upon the top of the cylinder it will not be shown it will not be seen again so this circle you are seeing is just for a reference uh, for a reference sake so because when you, when this hemisphere sits on top of the of the cylinder then this part of it will not be seen again just like uh, when you roof your when you roof or when you roof a house so that means the top of the, the the part of the top of the house will not be seen because the roof will cover it up so that means the bottom of this uh, hemisphere and the top of the cylinder will not be seen again but we are just showing you this one so that to help us calculate the volume but for total surface area this will not be part of it at all so technically if i want to find the total surface area of this uh, solid all i need is i need the curved surface area of the <coughs> of the hemisphere which is also the surface area so i need the curved surface area of the hemisphere and uh, i need the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the area of the circular base of the cylinder i come again to find the total surface area of this uh, solid shape i need the core surface area of the solid of the hemisphere which is also the surface area of the hemisphere plus the core surface area of the cylinder plus area of the uh, circular base of the cylinder so this circular top you are seeing here this one is not part of it so like i said total surface area of the solid is the core surface area of the hemisphere plus core surface area of the cylinder plus area of the circular bottom of the cylinder which is the base so if you understand that very well let's try to simplify that curve surface area of an hemisphere is 2 pi r square 2 pi r square is the curve surface area of a of an hemisphere because the curve surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square so to get the curve surface area of hemisphere all you need to do is to divide it by 2 and that should give us a 2 pi r square plus curve surface area of a cylinder that is 2 pi r h curve surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h plus the area of the circular base that should be pi r square do you understand that then let you understand that let's simplify further something is common to so pi r, pi r, um, pi r is common pi r is common here is here is also here so you can factorize pi r so we have pi r into 2 r plus 2 h plus r from here now you can now uh, okay you can see color light and 2r plus r will give us a 3r there so we have pi r into 3r plus 2h then from there we can now substitute our answer pi is 22 over 7 times the radius which is the radius of the uh, hemisphere and which is also the radius of the circular of the base of the cylinder is a uh, 7 as you have seen here so into 3 times radio is 7 plus 2 times height of the cylinder which is 10 so 7 we take your 7 here you have 22 into 3 times 7 is 21 plus 2 times 10 is 10, 20 the 21 plus 20 give us 41 times 22 and that should give us a 902 centimeter square for total surface area of the solid so i want to be that you understand the, how we got the uh, the volume and the total surface area of this solid shape which is made up of a of an hemisphere and uh, mounted upon uh, a cylinder so thank you for listening
and i hope you understand uh, you love you have learned one or two things from this video please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and as you do so may the good lord bless you thank you and i will see you in the next video